You guys, look what just arrived. Hey, everybody. Ooh, this box is heavy. Okay. Y'all, let's do this unboxing together. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, let me figure out the best place. I'm trying to figure out where to put you guys so you can see me opening the box. I may have to do the dining room table. Let me make some adjustments and get you guys on the table. Okay, well, you guys, that wasn't going to work either. So we're going to try it right here, okay? Oh, my goodness. Okay, this is the Kenmore Elite Stand Mixer. Now, we're not going to go into a whole lot of details. I'm going to give you a few. But right now, I just want to get it open. Now, I know most of you all... Um, really suggesting and hoping I would do a kitchen aid, but y'all, for whatever reason, and honestly, I don't know why. I just I didn't want a kitchen aid. I don't know why. I just didn't. But what I did know, this side up when opening. Okay. I wanted something with a glass bowl. And of course I wanted a glass bowl so you guys could see while I mix up the ingredients when I'm making my cake. One thing I've noticed right off the bat is that it's really heavy. <laughs> Definitely much heavier than my previous mixer. And it came in two colors. Sorry, I know this is probably making a whole lot of noise. Okay. That's it. So it's the Ovation, the Kenmore Elite Ovation 5 Quart Stand Mixer. And this is the picture of it. And I'm going to link it too in the description box. So I'll link it down below. saying I knew I wanted something um, a mixture with a glass bowl and another thing like I was saying for whatever reason I don't know I just didn't want a kitchen aid okay Ooh, that's that's a pretty paint job. <laughs> That's pretty. It's pretty and it's sleek. This. Oh, baby, this bad boy. Mm. 
She's a pretty one. All right, I moved over here to the table because I felt like, for one, it was blending in with my Christmas trees that were sitting over there. And then I didn't originally start here because it was in that big old heavy box. It was just, I didn't want to bring that big old box over here. So now that I've taken it out, I figured, let me, let me get over here to the table so you guys can see everything that I'm taking out of here, okay? So, once again, it is the Ovation 5 Quart Stand Mixer. I did look at some reviews on it, of course. Um, as you guys know, unless you're really, really new, I'm just a home baker in that I bake, bake for fun. I love pound cakes. I love pound cakes. So I bake for fun and I bake for content. So I wasn't trying to purchase something to use for like a home-based business because I don't sell cakes. I show you guys how to make them so you can bake them for yourselves or your business, okay? So, in the reviews, it was said, like I said, I know a lot of you guys really, really love Kitchen Aid. It was said in some of the reviews that I looked at, I've not confirmed it, but they say that this has the same motor as the Kitchen Aid, and not only that, that the attachments that you use in the kitchen aid or use for the kitchen aid with the kitchen aid can also be used on this one. Oh my goodness, let me y'all this 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 gal is not light by any means of the word. I think it's about did it say 30 pounds? Did I see that somewhere? So y'all. wanting something light this isn't it okay all right well, I think that's where you do the attachments for the kitchen aid I think y'all I'm just taking it out the box but I think oh just wanted to show that to you I love the bowl it's a big oh, 12 cup capacity bowl five quarts I think it's what it says, five quarts. So the bowl is huge. It's also heavy. It has some weight to it. It's going to be interesting when I'm trying to pour my batter in. Yeah, that's, that's heavy. But, anywho, I said give me a good arm workout. Okay? The parts that came with it, it has a dough hook. A flat beater, a whisk, sorry on here, um, easy pour funnel, so that's what's up here. So you add your ingredients through the top because you have a splash guard that goes Y'all know I'm guessing. I don't know. I think the splash guard. Um, Y'all don't even know how to take the, the. Oh, there you go. I was going to say, I don't even know how to take the whisk off. Whisk off. So I'm just guessing. Okay, so I guess the splash guard goes like that. Maybe. Oh, okay. Then there's an egg separator. If you need to separate that egg yolk. Um, and then it has a little grater. Now one other thing that I liked was that, or is that, somewhere up under here, it has some LED lights. So, I thought that was a nice feature. So, that should be interesting. The LED lights. Now, I don't know how much it's going to. And, of course, again, I'm thinking about my videos. You know, with a little bit of light shining on the ingredients while it's mixing. You know, some of y'all like to see that. Just like you see me, like to see me pouring that batter in the cake pan. 
But that was something else that kind of caught my attention to. All right. So I think that's about it. It does have cord storage on the back. So the cord doesn't have to remain hanging out in the back. Okay. So right now I know I, I know about as much about this mixer as you do. Because as you can see, I just took it out of the box. Now my mom did have a uh, kitchen aid and as a matter of fact it's still out there at the house so at some point I might get that and bring it home with me to have it because as you see it's good to have a backup mixer because you never know but honey when I pull that little bus out what was that little bus was it something <laughs> I pulled that little bus out as my husband called it listen we mm -mm, that wasn't working so that'll be sweet I think I may see if I can get my mom's mixer and maybe just have it here just in case I need it and it is a kitchen aid for all of you kitchen aid lovers I heard um, so many different comments about the different mixers that I should try so we're gonna go with this one and we will see um, how she does and then sometime maybe the early part of the year like I said after I've used her for a while then I will do a an honest review okay so thank you guys for joining me for my unboxing i know you're you're glad to see this mixer come on to the house so we can get back in the kitchen fixing them cakes right <laughs> we won't fix as many for december as we did in november i was trying to prepare for november and december baking all those cakes in november because again we're gonna um enjoy the christmas holiday okay so, all right, you guys. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. Hmm. I hope she does me well. Remember, the information will be in the description box. If you're interested, I'll provide the link. But um, it's heavy, so if you're not wanting something heavy, and I usually kind of move my mixers back and forth, she may just have to sit where she is on the camera. I don't know if I'm going to do a whole lot of moving back and forth. But anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I already look forward to you joining me again next time. Bye.